That rumbling has me very worried. Yeah. You know what? Okay, I take back everything I said in the previous episodes. Fidget has every right to be scared of this place. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's like small cave-ins happening constantly right now. Uh, but we are on a mission. I am the Comic Foil. I am the Green Scorpion. We are trying to meet the lady, uh, presumably of the lake, who might be able to restore water flow to both this underground village and Aurora village above ground, maybe? I guess, yeah. It It's feeling like this is kind of a detour from the story so far, but I'm sure it ties in somehow. Uh, we got the ability to slide. We got a hitting stick. We got some red moss clumps from some red mushrooms that we can take back to the one lady. Oh, jeez. I do not like how they attack. They, they just kind of drop stuff all over the place. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Now, does it use up one of our teleport stones every time we use the save points to teleport? Is that how it works? I think so. Because it would be nice not to have to walk back to that cage when we have enough keys to unlock it, but... I don't know if we should be coveting our teleport stones more carefully. Oh, you mean... Oh, no. I think the teleport stones we can use anywhere. Oh, okay. And this, and teleporting at save points is... Is free? fine. Because that's part of the mechanic, I guess. Okay. Okay, I, I really wasn't sure. If I'm wrong, someone in the comments, please let me know. Yeah, I'm looking... Um... <clears throat> So I think this is the last episode that we're going to record before the series actually premieres. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to people, like... I always learn a lot about the games from people in the comments just giving advice. So I'm sure there's a lot of things we haven't actually realized yet about the mechanics. And I think people know it's coming because, one, they'll remember from Steam Sember, and two... Um, I put a little bit of, I put a little thing on it on my Twitter account. Not that a ton of people look at that. Um, I was thinking I'd make another trailer and give it to you to post on your channel. I'd be down like, with that. Like we did with uh, Skies of Arcadia. I like that it's like a completely different like set of enemies down here too. Like they could have just reused the same little goblin guys but they haven't been doing that. Subterranean enemies are completely different. Oh, I see what's going on there. Alright, we're right above where we're supposed to be with the lady, I guess. Um, now that we have the slide ability, I think there's some new stuff that we can explore in the glade. Yeah. There's also one thing I may want to do, like, today. Okay. Um, which, uh, we'll see if we'll have the time to do it. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a little... I'm not going to say it's wonky, because I think it's as hard as they wanted it to be. But it is, like, slippery. It's a little harder than you might expect. He doesn't to have too much traction. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And when you land, he kind of, like, like jitters a little bit sometimes. Okay, and there's another treasure here if you want to use one of the keys on it. I'm down. A Ring of the Apprentice! What is this? For students who wish to excel quickly, plus one regen... Mm, plus one regen, plus ten attack, Plus, uh, 1.1 uh, experience bonus. Okay, so an extra 10% for every Yo, Haley. experience we get. Mad! We yeah. don't have enough. We need more stuff. We need more blue stuff, black stuff, and pink stuff. Hmm, maybe. Let me see. We, we can get these materials. Um, we have a lot of money, so... We do, so we need two... We need four of those... Okay, and we need... We need, blue um... How many of those do we need? Four. It's a four, four, and four. Okay, and this... 
We do not have any of Oh, these. we haven't even seen those yet. Yeah, They so. look like, I don't know, like spider legs or something? Well, either way, this is good to know. Okay. Alright, um, we have a goal now. I'm actually going to see if there's anything else we can do here that may be worthwhile. Oh, massive augment! That is better than what we have right now. Hit harder with these strong minerals. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that looks like the best thing we've got. Let me see what we need here. Okay. We we can get the uh, the the toes. Unfortunately, but, we do not have this yet. And uh, the old man also wanted toes. Toes. Yeah. Wanted four Ugh. toes. He wanted four of them, right? Yeah. We could just buy them, couldn't we? We could. We, we'll we'll do that when we get back up there. Okay. Yeah, because maybe we'll find more on the way. Yeah, I'll also see if we can, uh... Oh, nuts. That's a lot of florin. <laughs> Sorry, just... I don't, like, I don't think these, um, trolls are, like, really intelligent or anything, but just the idea of, like, cutting off their toes as part of a quest is not sitting right with me. <laughs> Um, funny thing, actually, um, I was actually talking to my Skype, to my Discord group about this, uh, not too long ago. Are you familiar with the, with the very, very infamous trope in video games known as 20 bear asses? Yes. You need That's to what this feels asses. like. And, you know, to get 20 bear asses, you need to fight, like, 50 bears. You would think each bear would have an ass. Yeah. But no, some of them don't drop an ass. Sorry, I dropped ah! my phone a minute ago. What is this? Halamori pendant. Uh, Hal Halmioni. Halmioni. Um, it's a pendant, right? Okay, Halmioni pendant. This pendant once belonged to a very loving grandmother. She had hoped to pass it on to her grandchildren. Plus two attack, plus twelve defense, and how, plus four luck. How could it have belonged to a grandmother if it hasn't even been made yet? It's a blueprint. Um, I'm assuming that that's, like, it's a blueprint of the original? Yeah, I guess, yeah. What we have currently is this one. This is a crazy good upgrade. Let's see what we need for it. Um, oh, we've seen those before. Oh, and we can get these, actually. Yeah. Perfection. We can make this. All right, let's do it. And let's go ahead and equip it. Yeah, equip Beautiful. All right, so that was worthwhile. And that was a random drop, too, I think. Yeah. Alright, not bad. Yeah, I think this game has a lot of, like, really tough drops. I mean, it's not like Mario Kart Tour levels of impossible drops, but... Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Mario Kart Tour. Um, I am... I'm not super happy about that. Uh, you and a lot of others, unfortunately. So, I have been really excited for Animal Crossing um, uh, New Horizons... But every once in a while, I get really afraid that they're going to, like, put microtransactions or something in it. Yeah. I I'm afraid there's going to be some something skeevy like that. Did you hear about what happened with EA and their patenting of a certain way of uh, microtransaction strategy? Uh, I don't think I did. It's pretty damn scummy. Okay. Um, so basically, they are, quote-unquote, patenting um, a, uh, a uh, microtransaction method in which uh, they charge you a certain amount and you will get a certain reward at the start of when they release this microtransaction but they devalue in but you but later on you can pay the same amount but the uh but the payoff will be devalued okay so you're paying more for getting it earlier when this like no thing... you you pay you pay a certain amount to get the most out of it early but if you pay if you decide to get that microtransaction you're dropping a lot of stuff yeah this phone does not want to stay up on top of things Put it in your pocket. That, that's when it fell out of the first time. Okay, oh. Lady. Who are you? Oh, this is screaming a boss fight. I am Dust, and this is Fidget. We came from mud pots seeking the one they call the Lady. Their springs have dried up, and I'm here to find out why. You would dare enter my domain and question me? Yes, the waters have stopped flowing. I was the one to stop. Be careful, Dust. I do not believe she's used to being spoken to so casually. I meant no disrespect. Uh... I am Lady Tethys, and you will refer to me as such, with the courtesy reserved for all powerful beings of the realm. Oh boy. Okay, Dust. Maybe you should dial it back a bit. 
She's getting pretty ticked off. Lady Tethys, the mud pots need your help. One of them is already close to death, but your healing waters could save his life. You, a surface dweller, would dare to question my actions? Who do you think you are, ordering me to release the waters of life? Question the motives of any creature, deity or not, that would let their subjects perish without reason. I have felt the endless conflict as my waters ebb and flow through your land, surface dweller. I see this water satisfying the thirst of a creature much like yourself. A killer with a broken soul. Here we go. A creature like me? You mean... He leads a great army across these lands. Spilling innocent blood, and using my waters to give life to his campaign of hatred. I stopped the water, so I could stop the violence. But you are punishing innocents and guilty alike. Your own followers and mud pot will die without that water. If their deaths are required to save this world, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. You speak in petty terms, a person, a family. A village. Their deaths, same as yours, are insignificant to the greater good. I sense a terrible danger, Dust. Prepare yourself. Yep, boss fight. I have seen where your path ends, Lady Tethys, and I will not let you succumb to the same fate. Too many innocents have died already thanks to Guy's campaign. So be it, surface dweller. If you would raise your sword against me, then prepare to have your accursed soul ripped from your body and purged in these holy waters! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, whoa. Those are some Wow, arms I parried too. that! She has cool, like, incisor arms. Whoa, what are you? She's just. She's a crazy water queen. Okay. So. What we have here is a philosophical battle between um, this lady being a uh, utilitarian consequentialist and uh, Dust here, who is the deontologist. So, as a utilitarian consequentialist, she believes um, that the ends justify the means, kind of a Machiavellian kind, kind of thing. That even though it's going to kill a lot of people, by basically drowning out Gaius, we can stop his reign. Um, wow, that thing has a lot of reach. So her morality would say, you know, I could do a bad thing for a greater good. Whereas Dust is saying more, no, we have to do good things all the time to get good things to happen. She's tough. <laughs> kind of similar to um, the, the uh, moral differences between Iron Man and Captain America in the movies. Uh, Tony is a utilitarian consequentialist and Cap is a deontologist. Because mm -hmm. Tony will trade lives, but Cap won't. Yeah. That's just. A I, I need to create some distance. That's just a little bit of basic philosophy 101 for you, while Oscar concentrates on this very challenging-looking boss fight. Also, I want to point out that she's based around water, and the last boss we fought, uh, Fuse, was based around fire, and Dust is based around wind. So that makes me wonder if we're going to get an Earth-based character, but with a name like Gaius. Yeah, you know, that's true. Gaius means Earth. Ah, man. So, like, is that what we're doing here? Because Gaius is basically the uh, male version of Gaia. She she's tough, but with healing items, you're keeping up. You might want to set a new healing item, though, when you get a chance. Fidget. Oh, that also means we're probably going to get a new water-based skill for Fidget after this fight. There we go. Good job. What? What have you done? Now some sense into you, I hope. I can feel the darkness slipping from her soul dust. We have done it. She is now safe. Darkness? Are you all right, Lady Tethys? What is this darkness Ara speaks of? I saw what your general was doing. 
I could feel the souls of all the innocents he killed screaming for help. And I succumbed to that darkness, that desire for justice, no matter the cost. Justice must be tempered with mercy, Lady Tethys. Otherwise, it is nothing more than revenge. I must apologize, Dust. I see now that you wield one of the blades of Elysium. Had I noticed before, I would have treated you with more respect. Blades of Elysium? Hello. I will explain later. We have other, more pressing matters. Yeah, you have a lot of explaining to do, Abra. I know you feel like you were doing the right thing by holding back the waters, but Mudpot needs them now more than ever. Oh, the waters, yes. I only hope it's not too late. Indeed. Though your motives were noble, I fear it did little to stop General Gaius in his campaign on the surface. Already I can feel his army's footsteps. They travel north, into the mountains. Then we gotta hurry. Ginger was on her way there too. Before you go, perhaps I can repay you for freeing me of my madness. At the base of the northern mountains, there is a grand estate. The baron of these lands is a man named Cain. He knew your general, and if you help him, he will be willing to assist you in your quest to end Gaius's campaign. How do you know this? And how do you know all that? Because I am attuned to the life thread, my dear. I can sense all life through the waters I send to the surface. Now, more than ever, I can feel the despair that all surface dwellers feel because of your general's hatred. He is not my general. Perhaps not now, but I can see you were once very close to this General Gaius. You can see into my past? Your soul is fragmented, like a shattered mirror. I can only see reflections in the broken pieces, and what I see makes little sense, even to me. Translation, the game doesn't want to tell you yet. <laughs> there are powerful forces at work within you, Dust. How a little creature could carry such a shattered soul is beyond my understanding. However, that doesn't matter now. She's right, Ghost. If we're going to speak to this Baron guy, we need to get moving. Apologies, Lady Tethys, but we must make haste. There is a villager in Mudpot who is very close to death. I can feel it now. His life force is very weak. How could I let this happen? What have I done? We've no time to waste. Is there a shortcut back to Mudpot? Yes, of course. Right through here. Though I fear you may already be too late. We'll get there in time. Just you wait and see. I hope so, Fidget. Goodbye, Lady Tethys. Goodbye, Dust. And good luck. So All right. So, when, so if I needed to, so if I needed to know about more Merfolk in video games. Oh yeah, I guess she is kind of like a merfolk. Oh, she's totally a merfolk. Um, I think you were supposed to get that thing up there first. That was oh, did I mess up? up? Uh, you can take you can take the teleporter back though. New ability: Fidget has acquired a new projectile type. Oh. Yep. Okay, so this is gonna be like water bait or no lightning. lightning. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay. Well, yeah, there you go. There's a new. Yeah, water like for it you. was water. Like she was, she is water based, but water and lightning uh, tend to go together. I mean, that's kind of like Poseidon. Poseidon could create storms, mm -hmm. including lightning. Yeah, I think that's what she is. Like she's based on storms and whatnot. That's cool. Um, I was curious because the name sounded very familiar. This is uh the voice actress Eileen Montgomery did the voice of Lady Tethys. Um, you may recognize her from. The show Young Justice, where she plays Miss Martian. Ah. Um, she's also Mustache Girl in, in uh, Hat, Hat and Time. Time. Okay. By the way, I think the game is trying to tell me something. Dude, we may have a way to break these for good now. Or not. Uh, no, it was a good thought. Ah. Then do we... Oh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I got excited. Easier done than said. Fancy that. A final parting gift from Lady Tethys, it would seem. 
That'll help when we need to return to the surface. But right now, we should find Bopo. Lady Tethys seems convinced we would arrive too late. We'll get there in time. We have to. We did everything we were supposed to. You have much to learn about the world, Fidget. Sometimes even your best is not enough to avert fate. Come, let us make haste to the village. Uh oh. Oh man. Will will Bopo's father live? Dust! Look! The water's running! You did it! We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look, here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you they'd get the water running again. I, I feel really uneasy about this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, me too. Oh, oh, darling. Uh, oh, no. Mama, what is it, Mama? Yep. Can't save them all, Dust. He held on as long as he could, but it just weren't enough. Huh? Oh, no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... it was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But we got the water running. We... we failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Dust, you stop that moaning right this instant! You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water running days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Ha! Huh? Did you hear? I got the water running! Ha! Huh? Master, let's give them a moment alone. <sighs> yeah. There's two kinds of games. This decided to be that kind of game. We got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew, and it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're Dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were. I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy. Because you're Dust now. Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. Okay. Game translation. You did everything you're supposed to. Doesn't mean it's all gonna come out good. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were, 
and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so, too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface, to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back, though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Mm. I promise. Aww. He's got a quest for us, too. Yeah, did he have another Are quest? Are you okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem real. Pa's gone and I wish... What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Dust, do you think somehow you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. Of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much! Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? This is important to him, Fidget. We'll find a way. Well, this game certainly pulls at your heartstrings. So I feel like the game's trying to tell you, like, like, Dust is like, oh no, if only we were faster and we didn't spend so much time trying to get Spelunky out of a cage. Are you ready to and leave, the game's Dust? like, no, I Dust, it's so. okay that yes. you side quested. When the, the writers decide a character's man, dead, they're gone touch. and there's nothing you can do about yes, it. I know of the place he was scripted to die. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? <laughs> <laughs> and the comedy switch has turned back on. It was once a peaceful place, but even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on. Let's get back to the surface. Can I just say that Dust is a very well-written character? Yeah, I like him. I like him a lot. There's... Yeah, he kind of, at first, kind of seemed to me like he was going to be, like, you know, not super edgy, but Edlord, edgelord protagonist, don't remember my past, whatever. Like, they were going to use that as an excuse to not really characterize him. But, like, there's enough there. You definitely get the sense that he's a good person who, you know, grabs How many sheep, sheep was it? Six? Yeah, I think we've gotten three now. I think that was four, actually. But we can check in the inventory, I think. Um. Yeah, we got four. Oh, four sheep. Okay. All right. Um, we can tackle that later. We we're definitely gonna have to take some uh, uh, take some time to like maybe dedicate episodes to side quests and whatnot. Yeah. Speaking of which, um, I am going to do one in particular. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, hey again, guys. General Gaius, you asked for me? Your report, Commander. What news do you bring? Our scouts believe he is alive, General. But his actions are... curious. Curious? How so? He ventured into the Siramon Caverns and saved a village of natives. As I understand it, his actions got the water flowing again. If what you tell me is true, Cassius would never... No. Cassius would never. Keep me informed of the situation, Commander. That is all. When did you grow a heart, my friend? Most unlike you. Cassius. I huh? think that's us. I think oh, it Cassius. has to be. Also, Gaius's sword looks kind of like Dust's sword. Yeah, you're right. Because they said that the sword was a blade of Elysium. 
but I don't think it's the only one. What does legend mean? Um, uh, that it's like a legend on a map. It tells you what the symbols mean. Ah. Okay, so I wanted to go back here. Okay, I, I don't even remember what was over here that we that we left behind. All right. Well, hopefully I can do this in a good span of time. Oh, you want to do that um that underground area? Yep. Let's see what we let's see what we can do here. Okay, we'll check it out at least. Maybe I can do something. Yeah, I'm at least curious I'm like what it is. Um, trial number one. So there's multiple. Should we have like found a save point somewhere first? We just passed one. Oh, okay, sorry. I, I looked away for a second. Oh, the timer's on. Okay, so you can't just... It's not just about killing enemies, it's about killing enemies quickly. Oh, oh my! That's a really good combination. Cool. Okay, and we get experience while we're down here. That's nice. Okay, I thought this was going to be like a pit of 100 trials kind of oh. thing. Oh! Oh, like, we gotta destroy those! That's awesome. Lightning powers? Yeah. Okay, keep an eye out for those lanterns. We need to destroy okay. them. Okay, there's one. There was one before. I oh, there it oh, is. Oh, it's just up high. Beautiful. All right, cool. Okay, I like it when games do that, when they put them in order. Yeah, so that you can tell if, if you missed one. Were you trying to parry him? Yeah. Yeah, they're tough. It's a very small window you get. There you go. Yeah, when they are parried and down like that, their defenses suffer. Well, your offense just got a lot better. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to... Yeah, let's go to the cupcakes. Oh, we it's a time limit. Yeah. I just realized that. Okay. One more. Now, do you have to kill all the enemies to keep going? Barriers do show up it when they're around. Yeah, probably gives you a barrier when they're around. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Nice. Okay, but you still need to get to the end, which is right there. Okay. All right. Oh no, it's a star system. Now I going to get all the stars. Uh, oh. Aww. <laughs> now I want to try it, but let's see what we got. We got a strength salve. Okay, well now that you know what you're doing a little bit more, yeah, do you want to give it one more go? Let's go. Nice. Yeah, I, I I bet if you could just get the parry on that big guy a little bit faster, you'll get four stars easily. Okay, and there's going to be two more at the top of this climb. Alright, good use of uh, Aerial Dust Storm there. Okay, there's one above you up there, too. Okay. Alright, just wait for him. There you go. Yeah, it's way faster with the parry. It does feel to me like Dust should be able to move a little bit faster than he does. Like, he should have some kind of, like, sprint. But that's alright. Okay, and I think these are the last enemies here.
Okay, that was way faster, too. Because you had, like, 21 seconds last time. I think we got it. Yeah, you got this. Bam. Oh, baby! An impressive, impressive display. display. Okay, it's Can not going to get anything out of it. But... Well, we got a crap ton of experience, so yeah. you know what? I'll take that. Yeah, bragging rights. And um, now we got to take this to get out of here. Okay, so that's what those are. Yeah, they're teleporters. Cool, I'm down. But let's go ahead and uh, end this off, shall we? Yeah, good stuff. And that was faster than I was expecting, too. So, I'm the Comic Foil. I'm the Green Scorpion. And, um... Okay. Fried to a crisp. So we got a bunch of mammals, and the moon bloods that, that Gaius was fighting against were reptiles, and down in Mud Pod we have frogs, which are amphibians. Are we gonna get bird people? Maybe. Wondering if there's gonna be a town of bird people. I don't know why, I just, I feel like it's gonna happen. I just need to find a safe point. Alright. We're gonna save our game, we'll see you next time. See you around, guys!